Do you see it right here? Kyle oh, does not have pulled that. Oh, it's a silver coin. <laughs> that's a silver, is it? <gasps> that's a Spanish silver coin. I can. So I've been walking around the field for the last hour or so, just trying to find a new spot. Went up and visited the cows up there on top of the hill and those cows over there. And, you know, I didn't really find much. Except for a lot of rifle cartridges. Seemed like everywhere I went, there was a new rifle cartridge. Uh, 22, 250s, 243s, kind of the oddball stuff. When I was a kid, I always wanted a 22, 250 because they were like the fastest thing you could get. I have no idea what that is nowadays. But anyway, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to pretty much stop digging, I think, and go back and get my truck. I'm going to come over to here tonight, set up camp so I can hear the stream down there uh during the night because it's very peaceful one quick little yapper story before i say adios if you look on the ground here you can see there's lots of acorns that's what we call mast nowadays mast being like a mast of a ship but mast as in spell the same way as in food for animals like deer and turkeys and stuff american indians uh used acorns for lots of things for food made like breads and flowers and stuff out of the acorns now, the problem with acorn is that it has a lot of tannins in it and the tannins very very bitter and you have to like soak the soak the seeds and you have to do all kinds of stuff to them like uh, maybe even put them in with uh, uh wood ashes and stuff i don't know to make them so that you can eat them but there are some trees that have sweeter acorns less tannins in them and that uh, it's speculated that they would have favorite trees that Indian tribes would go to for generations because these things grow for hundreds and hundreds of years. Now you might ask, why didn't they just have, take the sweet acorn seeds, grow them in their own little orchards because they were farmers. They weren't all just running around trying to kill deer. They were farmers mostly. Why didn't they do that like they did with uh, the wheat and the corns and the date trees like uh, over the Middle East? Because the date trees, you know, they're trees. They take a while to mature and they, those people over there did the same thing. They made sweet date trees. So anyway, acorn tree, oak, you pick it, you get a good sweet seed, you plant it, wait for it to grow, matures, has seeds, while well, you're dead because it takes a long time for them to grow and do that. So your grandkids would have to try to test that seed to see if it was worth picking more off that tree and planting those. That's why they think they never really did anything with the, uh, acorn tree for the oaks all right that's kind of just a little story i've always fascinated with that kind of stuff anyway we'll see you again on another video hopefully we'll do one or two more digs out here tomorrow uh third day and then we're going to head home can't wait for tonight sit here and listen to the old stream just got a nice signal and i popped it out of the ground and it looks like a large scent what do you think could be a button i suppose Oh, that's a button. Yeah, I can feel it's a button. Um, this is a big old flat button. You can see where the shank would have been on the back here. We'll get that cleaned up a little bit. I don't know if this would... I'll get this cleaned up and get a good picture. Now there's a shank right there. You can see the two, two dads. Well, my dudes, we might be in luck. I got another signal here. Kind of dug a big hole because I didn't have it centered very well, apparently. But I think it's something good. Do you see it right here? Kyle does not have pulled that. Oh, it's a silver coin. <laughs> that's a silver, is it? <gasps> that's a Spanish silver coin. I can see the back of it. I'm going to have to turn the camera off for a second because I'm down to 9% of my battery and I don't want to lose this clip. Hold on a second. Okay, here's what just happened in case. Um, well, because I have to tell you, there's a truck back there. I went and got another battery. I had done the roundup to the video. Not the roundup, but my sayonara ending and... Um, you know, where I showed you all the uh, rifle casings. I'm just kind of walking back to the truck, just hunting along, just, you know, because I always like to be searching. Even when you're, like, quit for the day. I had, I had quit for the day, I'll be honest with you, but I was still searching. And I hit a little patch of iron and got that flat button. And then, second signal of Doug here is a, uh, it's a Spanish silver coin, man. 100%. Definitely going to be a nice little piece of Spanish silver. Oh, yeah, look at that. That thing is mint. Well, I guess it isn't because it's kind of rough on this side. Not rough, but it's kind of smooth. We'll get a date off of it, but the back is really nice looking, isn't it? Yeah, that's a nice little coin. Look how far off struck that thing is. 
Yeah, we'll get you a date here. Give me a minute. I'll get it cleaned up just a little bit. Okay, I got it cleaned up a little bit. And you can see that it is a Carlos III, 1780, I think it's 9, or 1782. So this was right toward the end of the American Revolution. And it's kind of worn, so it's probably lost after that. Now, the other side is actually pretty nice. Nice shape. Let me get it, get it for you. And uh, not quite as worn. And you see it has the... Somewhere on here I saw it had an M for the Mexico City Mint. Where is that? Can you see it? <laughs> Can you see it now? Oh, there it is. Pretty sure that's the M right there. That's for Mexico City Mint. So this would be a Mexican coin. Back's pretty nice looking. Front, a little rough, but we can read it. That's awesome, too. I mean, for where we are, as far back in the hills of West Virginia as we are, I mean, that was like, it's amazing to find something like that. Because these people really didn't have that much money. Well, I guess this guy did until he lost it. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. Let's get back to digging. Find a few more. What do you say? Okay, um, sun is almost below the mountains. I got one signal here, and then we're going to walk away from this site for the rest of the day. Which isn't going to be much longer. I got to get the truck and get set up on the river. All right, so let's go ahead and dig this one signal. Tomorrow morning when we get up, we will hit this first. Let's go ahead and dig this. Well, uh, I want you to listen to how much iron is in here first. Okay, that's uh, where that log is right there is where I found the uh, coin, but there's a lot of iron. I think there's enough that this could be a house. <laughs> I'm not hearing any now, but <laughs> that's all iron, of course. That's where I found the coin. I have a signal down here. Yeah, we'll, we'll get some more stuff out of here for sure tomorrow morning. Ooh, cow pie. Cow pie squeak. That might be something. They actually give a signal. That's probably the cow pie itself. Anyway, I have one signal here. We'll dig it together. It's in the 40s. It could be a pull tab. Let's see if I can find that signal again. I don't know where it is in relation to the shovel. Oh, right there. Okay, so it's not a great signal. It could be a small button piece of lead or a pull tab. But that's going to be it for today. There we go. Oh no, it's foil. <laughs> I don't think that's Spanish uh, colonial foil. All right, that's it. A couple pictures coming your way, and then I got to move camp down river. We'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early. It's going to be a chilly one. <laughs> It'll be fun, though, I promise. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby I'll rock you until I go to sleep she don't care if you're dying, or if you're living, or somewhere in between.